Hello, and welcome to our Coronavirus Pandemic Self-Resonance Series today. Today, we're talking about the fear of hoarding and what it's like to go into the supermarkets or the Costco and discover that everything's off the shelves. Whew. <laughs> oh. So just noticing, first of all, the impact on the body even to talk about this. Oh. The kind of, uh, it's like a, an empty wind blows through my torso and my shoulders. And I think it's an enormous helplessness. Oh, bodies, do we need acknowledgement for the vulnerability that we have? to our system working? Do we need acknowledgement for all of our vulnerabilities to the supply chain? When you think about this, I wonder if there's a, a beating heart, an alarm state that comes, a fear of scarcity that needs to be named. I wonder if there's like a incredible dizziness that can even come as we try to struggle with the enormity of what's lying in front of us just right this moment. wonder if there's a need to name any annoyance or tenderness or worry about people who are vulnerable and can't get to the store to stock up and how much they depend on there being things on the shelves when their paycheck comes in or when they're able to get to the store if they're transportationally vulnerable. <sighs> Is there a tornness between buying a few more things to be able to have a sense of, of abundance and, and, and predictability, as we've been saying? And also, is there uh, a tornness between the stocking up and the longing for everybody to have what they need, if there's a, a, a sense of, of the, a need for acknowledgement of the impossibility of trying to take our own selves into account and trying to take others into account. Mm. Oh, and as we step into this, which is making me a little dizzy, I just want to hold myself with so much warmth and reassurance and love and tenderness. Like, Sarah, do you just need acknowledgement that it's too big for your little body, that your one individual human body is not able to figure out what systems need to do to take care of their people. Oh, brings tears to my eyes. And it helps with the dizziness. Mm. I've put off doing this series of videos, you know, because uh, my own body's been in such an uproar. I was like, how the heck am I going to give anybody else <laughs> any sense of resonance when I'm trying to figure out how to hold my own body in this? Mm. So just inviting all of us to bring an enormity of love and care to our own little bodies, <laughs> to our own single human bodies, to our families of bodies. Uh, just holding, holding us all with love. And of course, I have a terrible worry about crying on, a, on these videos. But if it makes the dizziness go away, it's good. Because it allows us to come to a grounded place of self-connection and self-resonance. And acknowledgement of enormity. And acknowledgement of impact. Oh, okay. 
see you in the next one.